Pyrox, the newest sport where you race the fittest in the world. And it seems like all the influencers are doing it. It's an hour long race with cardio and weights. But can I survive it? So it wouldn't be very smart to just go and do the race without any training. So we can do one training session. Yeah, that's all we have time for unfortunately. The race is in a couple hours, so. As you can hopefully tell, I am a bodybuilder, right? So cardio, haven't really done much of it. Although I do want to get into it a bit more. Do you see that absolutely ginormous spider? Let's, oh, ow. Dead to huge shoulders. Let's start off with some simple cardio because get the assault bikes off bounds for now. So I'm going to move into some high rock specific movements so it's easier for me when I'm doing the race because I know what I'm doing basically. So some farmer's carry, some sled pushes. Okay this is very this is very DIY but it is a sled push-ish. As well as the wall balls because I'm just going to use a normal ball basically. But it's the same concept of squatting and throwing so. I can confirm the plan has been acquired now to set up the garden so it's a high rocks championship mate. I've got to get this rower out. That's the second time this video. <laughs> got to get this rower outside. Oh buddy. One week later. 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 Our first station, the 1000 meter bike. After the row slash run, it is a 50 meter sled pull. Row slash run again, and then 80 meters of burpees. After the row slash run, there is more row. Then we're into 200 meters of farmer's carry, row slash run, and then the sandbag slash backpack. Uh, lunch. Row slash run and then on two. Warble. Probably shouldn't take a warble. So I need to ask an expert on how to prepare for this race. ChatGBT told me to carb up, so I got my yogurt, got my fruit, and prepared myself for this. Wait, there's one last thing we need to do. 